Hey everyone, it's Carissa at Sprinkled with Glitter. Thanks for stopping by today. Today I am using the Concord and Ninth Wonderful Women stamp set. It's part of their March release. And you may have seen me use this, oh, about a week and a half ago or so on my blog here for a couple of other projects. And I'll be sure I link that video here for you. So I decided to pull this stamp set out one more time and kind of use it in a totally different way. So I am using the three kind of main words of this stamp set. This says incredible, wonderful, lovely. And I am positioning those words on my mini Misty kind of right in the center because I'm going to do a little ink blending and some emboss resist here. But before I go ahead and stamp it onto my final project, I'm going to just do a test stamp just to make sure I have them spaced out exactly the way I wanted. It turned out really great because I was actually using the grid lines of this mini Misty to make sure that I had them all kind of spaced perfectly. But I did want to go ahead and stamp that just to be sure that I had my spacing right. So now I'm going to just emboss these onto my card front. I've prepped the card surface there with some EK Success powder tool, and then I stamped these words onto the card front using some Versamark ink, and then I coated them with some super fine detail white embossing powder. Now you can't really see the words really a whole lot here, but as I start adding my ink blending, you're going to see this really pop off of the paper here. Now I have to admit, I am not an expert when it comes to ink blending, but I have found a couple of strategies that help me get some really good ink blending results. I'm using the Squeeze Lemonade and the Worn Lipstick Distress Inks. These are the mini distress inks here. And I am just tapping my ink blending tool onto the ink pad surface and then kind of blotting it off onto a piece of scratch paper before I take it over to my project. And then I'm going in with a super light hand. I mean, barely, barely touching the paper. And I can add this ink on there. And if it's too light at first, I can build it up. But if you go in with a heavy hand in the beginning, you end up with these blobs on your project and it's not quite so attractive here. So I'm also using some smooth Bristol cardstock for my ink blending and I found that really helps my results as well. So I blended those onto the card front and now I'm using this bouquet die from the Concord and Ninth March release as well. And I'm cutting it out of some gold glitter cardstock because I haven't used gold glitter cardstock in a while. I don't think I have. I kind of was thinking about the last few projects that I made and I don't think I've used it. So it was time to break it out again. <laughs> And I used my precision base plate so that I got a nice clean cut on that. And then I just trimmed off the bottom part where that vase started because I just wanted the flowers. And I'm adding these onto my card front using a little zig two-way glue pen here. I'm going to let it just kind of hang off of that left edge and then just trim off the bottom where those stems overhang. Now you can see on the left side of the screen there, I do have some We Are Memory Keepers shape and tape cut down that I'm going to be adding along the left side of that card front, but I wanted it to be set back from the card front itself. So I went ahead and added my fun foam behind my card front before attaching this piece of shape and tape along the side. And I'm just using it like some pattern paper here. So I put some tape runner adhesive along the side of that, and then I'm just attaching my card front right over the top of that and then I'll trim off the excess. Before I attach this onto my card front, I'm gonna go ahead and round the bottom right hand corner of both the card base and the card front. And then I'm going to attach this onto my card front using some more tape runner adhesive. Now, I don't usually add my tape runner adhesive to the card front, but when I'm using the fun foam, I prefer to do it that way because I have a hard time adding the tape runner to the foam itself. So now I have this Being Classy stamp set. This is also from Concord and Ninth, and I found this sentiment that said, that's you. So my card's going to read incredible, wonderful, lovely, and when you open it up, it's going to say, that's you. Now I'm stamping it on the inside of my card using some Hero Arts black dye ink, and that sentiment was a stacked sentiment, so I went ahead and cut that apart so I could make it all one line. And I just thought that the fonts from both of these stamp sets coordinated so beautifully. So I think you could really mix these stamp sets and have a whole lot of fun. Now I thought it would be fun to add a little bit of this gold sequin strand along the side of the card. I did a little deconstructing here. I took the card front off of the card base. And in order to attach this three millimeter gold sequin strand, this is available in the Concord and Ninth shop. I'm just using the 1 8 inch 
Be Creative tape. And I've just stuck a line down there along the side of that card where I want this sequin strand to lie. And then I'm just pressing that sequin strand right down over that Be Creative tape. And I'm just making sure that I have all the fronts of the sequins facing upward and that I have a really smooth line. And then I will work my way up and just kind of press that on. And it's just kind of a fun and unexpected accent to this card. And once I get it pressed on there, I'm just going to use my scissors to trim that off. Now I went ahead and reattached it to the card base and now I'm using my fingernails to just scrape some of these little individual sequins off. Now I will tell you that this sequin strand does not shred on its own. So when I put it on the card front along that side, it's not coming apart, the sequins aren't coming off, but you can use your nails to kind of grab them and pull them off of the strand that they're on and use them individually as well. So that's what I've done here. I've scraped several of those off and now I'm using the multimedia mat to adhere those on to the card front just to add a little bit more sparkle to that. So that completes my card project for today. Another project featuring these beautiful stamps and dies from the Concord and Ninth March release. And hopefully you picked up a few tips on ink blending as well. Now I did want to mention that this color combination that I used, this yellow and pink, was inspired by a video I saw over on the Hero Arts YouTube channel by Yana Smakula, and I'll be sure that I link that in the description below so that you can check that out. As always, I will have links to all the products used in this project over at my blog at sprinkledwithglitter.com where you can see more still shots and more information, and I will have the featured products linked in the description at YouTube. Thanks for stopping by today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time, I hope you have a fabulous day.